Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna explore two new effects that Line 6 loaded into their 3.0 update for their Helix family of products. I've got the HX Stomp here. I'm pretty sure that these work with the Pod Go as well. Confirm or deny, people down below, let me know. So anyways, what I think is interesting about these two effects is that they seem to be completely squarely zeroed in and aimed at the Knobs YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> fellow YouTuber, fellow guitar YouTuber, fellow demo guy for hire, Knobs. He tends to do, you know, these glitchy kind of, you know, ambient soundscape sorts of things that jump around in random glitchy slidey ways. And they've put two patches in here that do those things. I'm gonna mess around with the patches by themselves first, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of comparison to some of my favorite glitchy chaseless pedals, the Therme, the Mood, and the Blooper here, obviously. Now to properly do a knob style demo, we need a few things. First of all, we need some kind of background. I'm gonna go for a colorful construction paper background here. Two pieces of pink, that ought to do it. Now we need props, right? Actually, I've done this wrong. We need space for captions. Where will the captions go? I'll put it over here. Plenty of space for captions. Right about here. Now props. How about some uh, 60 cycle yum action here? Bring in some sugar frosted cereal. Frosted mini wheats is what they're called. Not too many. You want to you want to make sure that you preserve a sparse aesthetic. You want stuff in there, but you want it to be, you know, sparse because that's cool. Another thing I need to do is just a little bit, a slight amount of stop motion animation just to bump up the production value so you can really hear, you know, the audio qualities of these patches. <laughs> Was that enough stop motion? Is that enough production value? No, I should probably do more, right? <laughs> so anyways, the two patches, we've got shuffling looper and over here there's glitch delay. Let's start with the glitch delay. Um, here's my dry signal first. <laughs> Am I playing like knobs yet? <laughs> I think I'm in the right neighborhood, right? All right, glitch delay. the time we'll take it down to a whole note just so we can hear what's going on here so there's a delay division that's set to four six Let's turn it all the way up, see what happens. adjustment of how many times the delay signal is interrupted. Let's crank that mix all the way up. Maybe 40% is the way to go. Next one. 
max up feedback. Let's dime it all the way up. This is gonna get crazy. I'm not totally sure what shuffle does. <laughs> Octaves are down at 10%. You gotta get those numbers up. important to change backgrounds at least a couple times within a video. Bring in some more props here. These are little counting buttons that we use for my son's schooling. One side is red, one side is wooden. Maybe just, yeah, there we go. Is that already enough? I think it's pretty close. All right, there's one more sub menu here. Smooth and trails. I want to crank that smooth. <laughs> we'll bring down some of the other settings and explore that smooth some more. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, on to the looper, the shuffling looper. Do we need more props for that? Has, have these gotten tired yet? It's very important to make a happy little home for your captions to live in. If you don't do that, you're gonna hate yourself when you're editing. Nobs knows what I'm talking about. Nobs, confirm down in the comments. So anyways, um, the looper. There's always been a looper on the HX Stomp, a one switch looper, but they put in this shuffling looper, which kind of does you know similar things as that glitching delay. Let's check it out. I have it assigned to this foot switch. Now that delay is not on right now. This is all the looper. A lot of the same um, controls as the glitch. Let's move that delay in front of the looper so that I can play glitched out stuff in front of it. put the delay after the looper. Look, Ma, no hands. I'm nobbing. say another background switch is in order. I think this is a good opportunity to compare to some Chase Bliss pedals. I mean, clearly those sounds are what Line 6 is gunning for with these new patches. It's fun to make a joke and it's fun to tease knobs a little bit and it's fun to have fun. <laughs> But that's the reality of what's going on here is that they've given two patches that can kind of get you in the neighborhood of what, you know, this very specific YouTuber does. This very glitched out musical soundscape, sort of ambient sort of experimentation. And they've given you two tools to do that. So let's experiment with the mood a little bit. And um, I think what we're gonna discover is that it gets you in that neighborhood, but it doesn't do the exact same thing as these chaseless pedals. I plugged in the wrong place. Mistakes can happen. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I almost forgot important things. Here, props. You gotta have props or people will not be able to enjoy the video. I know I sound like I'm making fun, but I used to use a lot of props 
and set design in my demos back before I would feature myself on screen. And I started doing those right around the same time Knobs was doing his stuff. I mean, my playing was way different. My presentation of the pedals was way different, but we both have this kind of appreciation for kitschy fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I really appreciate what Knobs does. I honestly do. And I'm having fun emulating it right now. <laughs> All right, so the mood. So the mood is unique in that it has an always listening loop on this side with a few different settings. I've got it on the tape loop right now. I'm not gonna go through everything that it does because that would be stupid. It would take all day to do, you know, everything that everything does in a couple Chase Plus pedals. And then on this side, you have some effects. So we'll lay down one of those loops that gets captured. Comparison to the delay here, which apparently has been sitting there just feeding back <laughs> since I left it. with similar concepts, but not, you know, fully the same at all. Like they're, they're different devices, but it's clear. It is so clear how much Line 6 was gunning for those kinds of concepts with these two patches. Like it's undeniable. I just realized one of my overhead lights went out. That's why it's darker in here than normal. So the Thermae, the Thermae is a really fun delay. You put these two knobs up at noon. And it's actually a really normal, great sounding digital delay. But then you turn these and the repeats jump pitch at different time divisions. And you've got two of them. So we'll go down one octave, up one octave. You can even do double octave, up and down. <laughs> And this has that glide thing. 
where it will ramp between the octaves. Which makes it kind of chorusy in a fun way. Or fully wackadoodle. Let's ramp between fifths. We'll do a quick comparison to the glitch delay. <laughs> I'm sure with some kind of, you know, laborious tweaking, you could get very, very similar sounds out of the glitched delay. Um, but there's just a completely different, you know, kind of thought process behind using these pedals versus the kind of one and done of the glitch delay. Uh, we should roll back the background, take out the blue back to pink and then bring in the blooper. This of course is the Chase Bliss pedal that Knobs himself kind of co-collaborated with Chase Bliss on to make a special pedal just for him that does the things he likes to do. And that's awesome. And it honestly turned out really great. What am I gonna, maybe we'll bring back the frosted wheats. They miss. They miss being in this shot, I think. They want to be here. I know, I know, it would have been cooler to be sparse, but whatever. So the blooper is a looper, <laughs> obviously. Um, it's not an always listening looper like the mood is. You engage it kind of like a traditional one uh, one foot switch looper. But then there's these mod buttons down here. And they engage various mods onto the loop. And there's really nothing, there's really nothing about this that does that. You don't get that smooth ramping from pitches and stuff like that. It's unique. The blooper is unique. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Um, do all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. Buy a shirt if you're naked. You know, go subscribe to Knobs as well. He needs your subscriptions as much as I do. Um, go buy yourself a Line 6 HX Stomp, a Podgo, a Helix, whatever you want from them. Go buy yourself some Chase Bliss pedals. They're a lot of fun. It's all fantastic fun. And you know what? Stay grounded. Bye, everybody.